With all Windows PCs, it is best to learn good practices to stay safe and keep your computer running smoothly. The first good practice to learn is don't download anything on your computer from unknown sources. Before you download a program from some random place on the internet, check who makes the program. Is it a known manufacturer? Read reviews on the programs from legit sources. For example, CNET.com is one of the most popular download sites. If it's not on there, it's not that popular of a program. Also, if it's not on there, that doesn't mean that it's bad or a virus-filled program, but you will need to do a little more research on the program. Be very careful of free games on the internet. Find a known source to download from. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people let their kids download tons of free games on the internet. Then they bring me their computer because it's acting funny. And I tell them that it's filled with viruses from all the free games that they downloaded. Also, when you install programs, make sure you read through all of the steps. Lots of times when you install programs, it installs other programs with it, such as toolbars and even trial edition antivirus software. When you go through the install, it asks you if you want to install these programs. And if you're not paying attention, you will install them by accident. Eventually, all of these programs will cause problems and slow down your computer. The next good practice to learn is to avoid opening emails from unknown senders. Many viruses are sent through email, and just opening the email can cause the virus to be downloaded onto the computer. If an email does not say who it's from, then you need to delete it. Trust me when I say that the email is not that important. It's not worth downloading a virus on your computer that can steal your identity. We will go into more safe email practices in an upcoming video. Lastly, be sure not to give out more information than you should. It is very rare that you will need to input items like social security numbers and driver's license numbers on the internet. Also, be careful what credit card you shop online with. Websites can easily be hacked and your credit card number stolen. I myself have had this happen, and I now have a separate bank-provided credit card that is only for shopping online. Remember to stick with these safe practices and use your common sense when behind the keyboard.